Okay, sorry about that. Here we go. All right, so here's the landscaping on the front yard. Very nice. All the neighbors, incidentally, uh, have similar landscaping. It's mostly rock with cactus and uh, desert type vegetation. Everybody on the street keeps their uh, properties up. There is an HOA here though that would police that. So it's, it's not very much though. It's only like $35 a month. So they don't do any of the landscaping or anything, but there's like a entrance area. There's not a gate, but there's some, there's minimal maintenance uh, within the, um, within the subdivision and there's a children's playground and just a couple of minor things to keep up. So, but with 35 bucks a month, what, what could you expect? So anyhow, just wanted to show you this and uh, we'll get on through the tour here. I usually don't do a whole lot of talking. I just want you to have a good time, sit back, relax, watch the tour and we'll go from there. This house is not a split concept. We have the kitchen, garage, and the laundry area on this half of the house, and then all the bedrooms and everything for the most part are on the other half. So just having said that, we have a sitting room in the front with some pitch to the ceiling, so it's really nice height, it feels very spacious. Let's go into the kitchen area first. Vaulted ceilings in here. I'll do the video in two parts uh, at, well, Three really, but uh, inside, outside. So we'll just go through the inside right here quick. It's a standard two car garage, a little bit deeper. And then of course, here's the utility room with a little bit of storage. Uh, and then there's storage here as well for uh, makeup for the lack of pantry. But there, is, uh, there are a lot of cabinets. So, standard two car for the most part. They have some storage here too, which is nice. Beautiful down in Arizona to have storage. As much as we can get. Off this, off to the, this is the dining room obviously. Off this room, they used this I believe as a office area. And it's, it's really good for that. It's kind of big actually for that. Um, this could easily be used as a bedroom. You could probably put a closet in here somewhere, um, but it'd be perfect for a guest room that we, where a dresser would, would be okay for their, uh, for their clothing and so forth for short-term guests. Anyways, front hall closet. And then we've got guest bedroom uh, three, I suppose. Shared bathroom. to the second guest bedroom. Standard closets. Uh, this does have dish network capabilities, satellite TV. Not sure if it's dish or, or direct, but it's what, what, something of the other. And the primary suite. Two closets, one standard. Well, two standard, really. But they're, this one's longer than that one. Again, with the ceilings pitched, nice size feel to the room. Flooring is really nice. Looks out onto the pool and the back wall, which we'll get out there in a minute. And before we do that, just wanted to walk you through the primary suite bathroom. So we've got the soaker tub here, all new tile with a pitch. Nice that they broke up the tile into two different types.
private water closet bathroom, and then you've got your stand-up shower. I don't know if they'd consider this a, a double long. It's not quite two times the size, but pretty close. But we do have the two sinks. All recently done. I'll go back into the kitchen and cut this short so we can go to the next part, which will be the outside tour. And that will pretty much wrap it up for this one. So really nice, comfortable two HVACs in this house. Um, place is really cool. I've got it down to 75 and it feels great. Outside still 100. Whew. All right, anyhow, I'm gonna break this up and we're gonna go into the outside area. Please stay tuned.